Hey baby, listen, I'm just going to slip into something a little bit more comfortable. I'll be back, okay? Stay up, I'm coming. <laughs> Gorgeous and welcome to my channel. I'm Kopana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I do things and I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it at all, darling. So listen, do what you will with it. Because me, heck, I'm no professional. I'm not a professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. So honeys, Valentine's is coming. Yes. Where's your boyfriend? Now I'm talking to all the ladies who are going to be getting down and dirty with their hubbies. Come Valentine's Day, you're going to give them something extra special. We're going love crazy this week since it is all about Valentine's. And today I'm going to tell you about getting down, getting dirty with your man and your pre-game routine. Now I've spoken about post-game routine in terms of after you've gotten down and dirty with your man how do you deal with your hygiene what routine do you and your man have now today i'm going to be telling you about your pre-game routine what are you supposed to do from a hygiene perspective from a preparation perspective as a woman to prepare to get into bed have you ever seen in the movies they'll be there rubber dub dubbing there mm, mm. and then the lady's just like just give me a second, I'm going to go slip into something more comfortable. And then she goes away. Ta -da -da. And she goes into the bathroom. Wait, What is she doing in there? Huh? I also wonder. Also, what is she doing? What is she doing? I'm going to tell you today. Let's get into it. And I always leave the best for last. Because it all just makes sense. So you have to wait until the end to see how this whole puzzle looks. Number one, time, honey, time. That man might just fall asleep. The mood might just disappear. So as I'm telling you all of these things, you must look at the time. 10 minutes tops. 10 minutes is even long, five. You've got five minutes. Set the timer. Understand in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in your body, in your bosom, that time is going. That guy, while you're in there, watch the time. Number two, clear the pipes, sit, pee. Roda. It's important that you sit and you clear the pipes and you pee because as women, the friction that is caused from us holding in a bladder of full pee and still having the good, good times with our husbands can cause things such as urinary tract infections. So you do want to make sure that you've cleared the pipes before and also afterwards. Now, if you're the spontaneous type, it's okay, it's okay. But if you can prepare, babes, just go into the toilet, sit, pee and wipe yourself off. Number three, splash a little bit of water. Splash, splash, you know, splash, just splash. Just to make sure that we are clean, we are hydrated as well, and we're looking good. Now, the vagina is a self-cleansing organism. However, on the outside, just making it a little fresh, you know, you may have been sitting the entire day in a bendy and everything. So, you know, slip it off rinse it a little bit just splash splash wake her up a little refresh in her just a bit just be like hey sisters it's about to go down wakey wakey might just help a little bit just to get the mood and into the vibe and just to have a fresh unit for the activities that are about to go down number four is my favorite make sure that you taste good now what do i mean by this depending on how your foreplay goes okay your man might like to nibble on an ear, kiss on the neck, move down the body. And you want to make sure you taste good. Take a wet cloth. It doesn't have to have water on it. Make sure it's slightly warm so that the man is not tasting soap when you're done. Clean the ear, behind the neck, you know, behind the ears, on the neck. Just to refresh a little bit. If if you are a little stale underneath there, just give it a little bit of a wipe. This is literally five minutes or less, okay? So if you like to just refresh and you come back and the man is just going to get a woof of something amazing. Now, if you do have 
lotions and creams and sprays there are mists that you can use on your body i really do love body mists that smell good but they also taste good as well if you have a lip balm that also tastes amazing you can use some of those every now and again don't overdo it just make sure that there's just a whiff of something nice so if you have a body mist if you don't want to spray it directly on yourself spread a little distance from you and walk into it that way you won't actually have too much there is a scent of something and you do taste of something he just doesn't know what it is man he'll just know that you're my woman reminds me of vanilla hey i don't know what it when i when he smells vanilla he's just like i'm thinking of my woman that's how it is they are beautiful body mists that are just refreshing you know maybe just a hint of cucumber or a hint of mint that are more earthy that are more fresh or you can go with your citrus vanillas your blossoms your jasmines those are more distinct smells and they can have a great smell association so if you have your jasmine which is quite a romantic scent which is used in a lot of love potions if you want you can take a little bit of water and a hint of essential oil in a spray to make your own body mist that way you smell good and you just you know lifting the scent in the room number five is for you to smell good too in the breath area i remember the first time i kissed my husband okay we went on a date and at the end of the night he just you know excused himself for two minutes jiggy jiggy man comes back his mouth smells like listerine the sneak he didn't give me the opportunity to also smell like listerine i tasted like a burger i just had a burger and the man no the man he was fresh inside the mouth and was great how about you be fresh inside the mouth too for your man the time is ticking by now it's about two and a half minutes and we've gone through all the important parts let's move on number six honey pin the wig down pin 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 take a pin and pin the wig down it's about to go down hey when we just come back from a date and i had a wig on and you know i went out of the room with the wig on and now i return without the wig on i don't want to scare him you know sometimes for men the transformation of pre-wig and post-wig is just too traumatic for them so you know sometimes just continue with the fantasy and make sure that the wig doesn't fall off in the bed Woo! can you imagine you're getting down and dirty with your man you're rolling around and then you roll from the left to the right and then you your head moves from the one pillow to the next pillow and then your wig stays on the previous pillow but when now you've moved on to the pillow on the right ah! we can't have that we can't have that babe i kid i know i kid the point is if your husband is happy with the wig on wig off situation it's completely okay but if you want to continue with the fantasy pin the wig down or just make sure that your hair is ready Bofale pondo if you've got braids, you know, just make sure that your hair is not getting in the way. You're just there. Just come on, come on. Give your man a break. Make sure that this time is going to be enjoyed without the administration of the hair. If you've given yourself five minutes to prepare before time, pina, bofa, do something. Number seven is now we are ready to leave the room. This is where you actually slip into something more comfortable. The most comfortable thing, especially if it's pre-game and you're about to jump into the sheets with your man, is this. Shilling, nux, nada, birthday suit. That is the most comfortable thing you can slip into if you're just gonna get down and dirty with your man. Now, alternatively, you can get into something that is fun to take off or something that is easy to take off slip into a slip dress not the type that you go out in but the type that you know is like super here yeah, it's almost like a night dress but it's actually a uh let me show you a picture so this is the type of slip dress that is not one to go out with it is a pajama kind of but it's like a night dress and it's like really short this is meant for business this one is meant for business i love it i think i might get one for myself 
slip into something more comfortable slip into a slip dress silky rides up nice and easy you want to make it either easy access or fun presentation so that the man either gets to the job quicker or he has fun getting to the prize and this leads me to number eight while all of this is happening you have to make sure that you continue to communicate with your man or else he's going to fall flaccid and fall asleep you do not want the mood to go away and you do not want to be making a noise just calm down it's okay you'll make it you'll make it calm down okay be calm and talk to him the entire time give him a mission so as soon as you close the door you tell him listen babe please put on some music for us something nice select a playlist and as he goes through the music you're just like mm, i don't like this song can you look for something else this way you continue to have the communication keep the mood alive and make sure that he doesn't get irritated babes five minutes tops try and keep it at about two and a half minutes but this is a great routine and the nice thing about it is you'll come out feeling and smelling fresh if you are able to invoke all all five senses when you are getting down and dirty with your man having the scent of something fresh and beautiful on you but still very light it triggers something in the brain tasting good is an important thing feeling good that one we're going to have it's an obvious but if you're able to also have taste and smell and visually what he sees you're a winner all right beautiful people that's all i have for you i hope that you enjoyed this one and i hope that you'll be enjoying your valentine's day as it comes around this week and that's it make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it it helps my channel grow and it helps other women to get a hold of this information too give it a big comment on the comment section let me know which number stood out the most for you are you the type to go and prepare before you get done with your man or do you just like to get spontaneous and just get down into business that's all i have for you guys today until next time i'm kapana shmang and this is how i do things Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for making it right until the end. Now if you have not subscribed, click on this button right here to make sure that you subscribe and feel free to binge watch darling. I love you for it. I really do. I don't mind just, oh just binge watch babe, just binge watch. Until next time. Mwah.